Shane Schumann! One more time for that fucking amazing comedian who really is hammered. Just hammered right now. You guys, thank you so much for coming out. This is a big deal for me. Um, thank you. But are you too hot to clap? You can't, are you hurt? Um, so, my friend sent me a porn link this morning. Um, me, like, you know, my friend and I will send each other porn once in a while. Just so you know, if it's good, or if one of the guys looks like one of our dads or something fun, just, you know, well, we're having a friendship. Uh, so, she sends me this porn link. She's like, oh, you have to watch it right now. You're going to love it. It's porn for women. It's literally just like sex from the woman's perspective. I'm like, so what is it? Just the camera like looking out at the room. Um, The headboard, zooming in and out of the headboards. <laughs> Once in a while, a pillow in your face. I'm like, oh, this is so great. I think he's the one. Uh, men are so gross. We don't even know how gross they are. Think about the grossest dude you would bang. You, okay, you have him in your mind. It's pretty bad, right? Probably happened recently after a blackout. If you saw the grossest girl that a guy was willing to have sex with, it would blow your fucking mind. Because you probably stepped over her to get in this place tonight. What? But we take care of ourselves. Like, look at all the gorgeous girls here. Look at you guys, right? We do so much. Do you guys remember? Like, do you remember bread? Do you know? Remember bread? It was mostly made of bread and you would eat it and feel good. You wouldn't like cut yourself and cry and be like, how can I do this to America? Let's just eat bread again. Can we just stop with all the showering and the whatnot? I still think I'm in my 20s. Like at a bar, I'll still show my license. They're just like, we can see your face. Just go in the bar. Did you want us to know that you're not an organ donor? Uh, God, I, I haven't done anything I'm supposed to do in my 30s. Like, I'm always the last one to know things aren't cool. Like, I was the last one of my friends to know it wasn't cool to drink like a homeless person anymore. <laughs> That's how you drink when you're younger, like a homeless person. You drink like 40s in paper bags at bus stops. Right? Some people still do it. You run from the cops. You pee behind dumpsters. I remember more than once being like, I just found these beers in the bushes. Let's drink them. <laughs> and no one was like, ew, you're a vagrant. They were like, we're going to remember tonight forever. Uh, my friends have all like really done it. They're third. They're in their thirties for real. They all got married. They keep their kids every time now. Everything. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always carry it to term judgmental audience. Um, no, I'm like you're not even gonna think about it. I don't even know you anymore. And look, I'm not crazy. I just think you should consider, you know, terminating the pregnancy if it was rape or incest or with a redhead. Like the unforgivables, you know? The unacceptables. Uh, my friends, they really did. They all did at 31. They're having their first wave of divorces right now. It's a weird time. What do you do first? You call your sluttiest friend. Hi. 
That's me. They call me because they want to get a drink all of a sudden. I'm like, where have you been for 10 years? And yes, I do want to get a drink. I'm lonely. <laughs> what do you say when someone's like, oh, we're getting divorced? What do you say? Is there a card? Is there a hallmark that says, like, I told you so, bitch? Or, uh, <laughs> or something like, what do you expect? You met him at a flip cup tournament. Do they have that? Is there a beanie baby? You press its belly. It's like, remember how smug you were at your wedding, you cut? One of those. Uh, a bride during the prayer. Thank you for coming. I'm like, uh, uh. People used to get married for survival, you know? Did you guys play Oregon Trail like I did when you were kids? Okay. So everyone died when they were like 19. Yeah, dysentery. That was your favorite. Everybody had like a favorite disease. I liked it when an ox fell on your head. <laughs> everyone died. So you would be married for two years and it wasn't a commitment, but now we don't die anymore. If your heart doesn't work, they give you a new one. So you better like that bitch you're marrying. Cause it's gonna be a while. Oh, everybody wants their soulmate now. You gotta have your soulmate. Even my mom's still looking for her soulmate. She's 64. Her new boyfriend's 70. I had to meet her 70-year-old boyfriend and make small talk. <laughs> this is what it sounded like. So, Michael, what wars were you in? Um, <laughs> she's like, talk to him. I'm like, can he hear me? He's old. She thinks it's so adorable to be like, we're going steady, we're going steady. I'm like, look at him walking to the bathroom. Like, no one's going steady. He's like, ah. He's not like a young spry 70. He's like Schindler's Listy, like Tim Burtoning around. I'm half Jewish, I can half say that. Um, we're at a restaurant and she's like being adorable, like feeding him, but it just looks like he needs that. It's just like, uh. And she's doing this thing where she's this fake version of herself. Cause that's what you do when you start dating someone, right? You're just this projection of what you think they want. I do that. I'm such a liar when I start dating someone. I'm just like super cool new girl. Yeah. I'm like, hey. I'm like, I want to hear everything about your fantasy football team. Don't leave anything out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, do I want to have a threesome? Yes, yes. Girls are so soft. And the guy believes it. He wants to believe it so bad. He's like, where have you been? I'm like, I'm here now. Let me just sweep this crazy under the rug for a couple months. You don't need to see this yet. It's gonna be a big surprise, month three. I like when I start dating someone new, and uh, I think all girls do this. You kind of test how much bullshit a guy will take. You're just like, here's a little bit. Here's a little bit. And then finally he's like, hey. And you're like, okay, so that's fine, okay. I don't know, like, how do you pick that person? How are you like, yes, you forever, for life? Like, even for me, as I get older, the sex I'm into changes. Like, I used to sleep with Hispanic guys, but now I just prefer consensual. I don't know. We've all been a little raped. Just a scotch. Just a hair. It's true. Every girl I know has one night, usually in college, and she's like, oh. I like that was right. Mm. Not totes consent. I don't remember yelling yes. And it's because when men are in their 20s, they're legally retarded. It's a fact. At that age, they take a woman sleeping as a suggested no. 
like, no. But when we think rape, we think like law and order, you picture SVU, right? Some chick, like me, like a girl looks like me running in the park, just like, I have a one bedroom and a dog, just really happy, right? <laughs> Some crackhead pops out, he's like, Bleh. It throws you in a bush. I'm having sex with you. It's not your decision. You're like, no, that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst of the rapes. But it's other shit. Other shit. Can... It's not all black and white, you know? There is a gray area of rape. Like, you've been raped. I can tell. There's... <laughs> Have you... How old are you? You're, like, young. What's your... How old are you? 24, did you, have you been raped? <laughs> now, something to look forward to. I'm kidding, that's not, I'm not wishing that on her. I mean, statistically. No, but here's the thing. I'm a little sluttier than the average bear. I'll be real about that. I'm no stranger to plan B, I'll just say that. I'm not like, what is that? Like, I know what it is. You guys know what it is? No. You guys like from Finland or something. Plan B is the morning after pill, which you can take the night before if you're amped. You know, you're just, just like walk past a mirror, see yourself in a new tube tub, like oh shit, pop. You could take it like that. Someone's in danger. That kind of a maneuver, but. And you feel like such a whore when you buy it. Because it's, you get it at your pharmacy, but you have to ask for it. It's over the counter, but you have to be like, you have to ask. And they know what you want, but they make you ask. They're <laughs> looking at me, I'm like, you see where my eyeliner is, just give it to me. <laughs> the staring contest. What do you think I'm here because it's allergy season, really? I've never had anal. Yeah, I know. I'm not against it. I'm not like, no, that's Jesus' hole or something weird. <laughs> I'm just like, that seems like it hurts. I also don't put my hand on the stove. Um, if I thought I'd like it, I would do it. I wouldn't even be here right now. I'd be looking for parking cones to sit on. I mean... <laughs> no one's ever come on my face. That surprises a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And again, I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I'm certainly not... I'm not going to see me in a picketing line with a sign with an arrow toward my eyes. Like, pick me. Uh... But yeah, no one's ever gone for it. No one who's dating ever just like went for it. I don't know what I would do if a guy went for it. I think probably something like, like, no, my dad loved me. Like that kind of a, no. Probably. Or if I had advance notice, I would like pull out a tiny umbrella, like not on my watch. Walk out twirling it and kicking. <laughs> this is the best case scenario if you come on your sweet wife or girlfriend's head and you don't tell her, okay? Best case scenario. This is what it looks like, okay? You're doing it and she goes, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> are you still going? Did you eat something different? What are you doing? No, I'm not mad, but can you get me something? Like, I don't want to Stevie Wonder on my way to the bathroom. Give me a thing. Is this your underwear? Get a towel. What a towel. Idiot. That's what she'll do. That's the best case scenario. She's not going to shock you. She's not going to be like, yes. Finally, finally, idiot. No. Women are lucky because we can have multiple orgasms, I've read. Ladies and gentlemen, please put 
your hands together for Miss Amy Schumer! One more time for that fucking amazing comedian who really is hammered. Just hammered right now. You guys, thank you so much for coming out. This is a big deal for me. Um, thank you. But are you too hot to clap? You can't, are you hurt? Um, so, my friend sent me a porn link this morning. Um, me, like, you know, my friend and I will send each other porn once in a while. Just so you know, if it's good, or if one of the guys looks like one of our dads or something fun, just... You know, well, we're having a friendship. Uh, so she sends me this porn link. She's like, oh, you have to watch it right now. You're going to love it. It's porn for women. It's literally just like sex from the woman's perspective. I'm like, so what is it? Just the camera like looking out at the room? Um <laughs> The headboard, zooming in and out of the headboards. <laughs> Once in a while, a pillow in your face. I'm like, oh, this is so great. I think he's the one. Uh, <laughs> men are so gross. We don't even know how gross they are. Think about the grossest dude you would bang. You, okay, you have him in your mind. It's pretty bad, right? Probably happened recently after a blackout. <laughs> If you saw the grossest girl that a guy was willing to have sex with, it would blow your fucking mind. Because you probably stepped over her to get in this place tonight. Why? But we take care of ourselves. Like, look at all the gorgeous girls here. Look at you guys, right? We do so much. Do you guys remember? Like, do you remember bread? Do you know? Remember bread? It was mostly made of bread, and you would eat it and feel good. You wouldn't, like, cut yourself and cry. And be like, How can I do this to America? Let's just eat bread again. Can we just stop with all the showering and the whatnot? I still think I'm in my 20s. Like, at a bar, I'll still show my license. They're just like, we can see your face. Just go in the bar. Did you want us to know that you're not an organ donor? Uh, God, I, I haven't done anything I'm supposed to do in my 30s. Like, I'm always the last one to know things aren't cool. Like, I was the last one of my friends to know it wasn't cool to drink like a homeless person anymore. That's how you drink when you're younger, like a homeless person. You drink like 40s in paper bags at bus stops. Right? Some people still do it. You run from the cops. You pee behind dumpsters. I remember more than once being like, I just found these beers in the bushes. Let's drink them. <laughs> and no one was like, ew, you're a vagrant. They were like, we're going to remember tonight forever. Uh, my friends have all like really done it. They're third. They're in their thirties for real. They all got married. They keep their kids every time now. Everything. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always carry it to term judgmental audience. Um, no, I'm like you're not even gonna think about it. I don't even know you anymore. And look, I'm not crazy. I just think you should consider, you know, terminating the pregnancy if it was rape or incest or with a redhead. Like the unforgivables, you know? The unacceptables. Uh, my friends, they really did. They all did at 31. They're having their first wave of divorces right now. It's a weird time. What do you do first? You call your sluttiest friend. Hi. 
That's me. They call me because they want to get a drink all of a sudden. I'm like, where have you been for 10 years? And yes, I do want to get a drink. I'm lonely. <laughs> what do you say when someone's like, oh, we're getting divorced? What do you say? Is there a card? Is there a hallmark that says like, I told you so, bitch? Or, uh, <laughs> or something like, what do you expect? You met him at a flip cup tournament. Do they have that? Is there a beanie baby? You press its belly. It's like, remember how smug you were at your wedding, you cunt? One of those. Uh, a bride during the prayer. Thank you for coming. I'm like, uh, uh. People used to get married for survival, you know? Did you guys play Oregon Trail like I did when you were kids? Okay. So everyone died when they were like 19. Yeah, dysentery. That was your favorite. Everybody had like a favorite disease. I liked it when an ox fell on your head. <laughs> everyone died. So you would be married for two years and it wasn't a commitment, but now we don't die anymore. If your heart doesn't work, they give you a new one. So you better like that bitch you're marrying. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. Oh, everybody wants their soulmate now. You gotta have your soulmate. Even my mom's still looking for her soulmate. She's 64. Her new boyfriend's 70. I had to meet her 70-year-old boyfriend and make small talk. <laughs> this is what it sounded like. So, Michael, what wars were you in? Um, <laughs> she's like, talk to him. I'm like, can he hear me? He's old. She thinks it's so adorable to be like, we're going steady, we're going steady. I'm like, look at him walking to the bathroom. Like, no one's going steady. He's like, ah. He's not like a young spry 70. He's like Schindler's Listy, like Tim Burtoning around. I'm half Jewish, I can half say that. Um, we're at a restaurant and she's like being adorable, like feeding him, but it just looks like he needs that. It's just like, uh. And she's doing this thing where she's this fake version of herself, because that's what you do when you start dating someone, right? You're just this projection of what you think they want. I do that. I'm such a liar when I start dating someone. I'm just like super cool new girl, you know? I'm like, hey. I'm like, I want to hear everything about your fantasy football team. Don't leave anything out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, do I want to have a threesome? Yes, yes. Girls are so soft. And the guy believes it. He wants to believe it so bad. He's like, where have you been? I'm like, I'm here now. Let me just sweep this crazy under the rug for a couple months. You don't need to see this yet. It's gonna be a big surprise, month three. I like when I start dating someone new, and uh, I think all girls do this. You kind of test how much bullshit a guy will take. You're just like, here's a little bit. Here's a little bit. And finally he's like, hey. And you're like, okay, so that's fine, okay. I don't know, like, how do you pick that person? How are you like, yes, you forever, for life? Like, even for me, as I get older, the sex I'm into changes. Like, I used to sleep with Hispanic guys, but now I just prefer consensual. I don't know. We've all been a little raped. Just a scotch. Just a hair. It's true, every girl I know has one night, usually in college, and she's like, oh. I like that was right. Mm. Not totes consent. I don't remember yelling yes. And it's because when men are in their 20s, they're legally retarded. It's a fact. At that age, they take a woman sleeping as a suggested no. 
No. But when we think rape, we think like law and order, you picture SVU, right? Some chick, like me, like a girl looks like me running in the park, just like, I have a one bedroom and a dog, just really happy, right? <laughs> Some crackhead pops out, he's like, Bleh. Like throws you in a bush. I'm having sex with you. It's not your decision. You're like, no, that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst of the rapes. But it's other shit. Other shit. Can, it's not all black and white, you know? There is a gray area of rape. Like, you've been raped. I can tell. There's... <laughs> Have you? How old are you? You're, like, young. What's your... How old are you? 24, did you, have you been great? <laughs> now, something to look forward to. I'm kidding, that's not, I'm not wishing that on her. I mean, statistically. No, but here's the thing. I'm a little sluttier than the average bear. I'll be real about that. I'm no stranger to plan B, I'll just say that. I'm not like, what is that? Like, I know what it is. You guys know what it is? No. You guys like from Finland or something. Plan B is the morning after pill, which you can take the night before if you're amped. You know, you're just, <laughs> just like walk past a mirror, see yourself in a new tube top, like oh shit, pop. You could take it like that. <laughs> Someone's in danger. That kind of a maneuver, but. And you feel like such a whore when you buy it. This is, you get it at your pharmacy, but you have to ask for it. It's over the counter, but you have to be like, you have to ask. And they know what you want, but they make you ask. You're looking at me, I'm like, you see where my eyeliner is, just give it to me. The staring contest. What do you think I'm here because it's allergy season, really? <laughs> I've never had anal. Yeah, I know. I'm not against it. I'm not like, no, that's Jesus' hole or something weird. <laughs> I'm just like, that seems like it hurts. I also don't put my hand on the stove. Um, <laughs> If I thought I'd like it, I would do it. I wouldn't even be here right now. I'd be looking for parking cones to sit on. I mean, <laughs> no one's ever come on my face. That surprises a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And again, I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I'm certainly not, not going to see me in a picketing line with a sign with an arrow toward my eyes. Like, pick me. Uh, but yeah, no one's ever gone for it. No one I was dating ever just like went for it. I don't know what I would do if a guy went for it. I think probably something like, like, no, my dad loved me. Like that kind of a, no. Probably. Or if I had advance notice, I would like pull out a tiny umbrella, like not on my watch. Walk out twirling it and kicking. <laughs> this is the best case scenario if you come on your sweet wife or girlfriend's head and you don't tell her, okay? Best case scenario. This is what it looks like, okay? You're doing it and she goes, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> are you still going? Did you eat something different? What are you doing? No, I'm not mad, but can you get me something? Like, I don't want to Stevie Wonder on my way to the bathroom. Give me a thing. Is this your underwear? Get a towel. What a towel. Idiot. That's what she'll do. That's the best case scenario. She's not going to shock you. She's not going to be like, yes. Finally, finally, idiot. No. Women are lucky because we can have multiple orgasms, I've read. Um, 
I'm like, is that it? I don't know. I've never, and I'm not trashing guys because I don't know how to do it. Like I, I it, for me to have an orgasm, it is not cute. I have to have the focus of an Olympic hopeful on a balance beam, just. <laughs> There's a slight temperature change in the room. Like, I lost it. I lost it. Back to one. Back to one. Ugh. It is not cute. I am not fun to have sex with. People think like I talk about sex on stage and I'm probably like, dirty. I am. This is my version of dirty talk. Okay. Twice a year, when I do that, I uh, whisper something with half confidence that I don't mean. And the guy goes, what? <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> That's it, and it's over. Just tons of sexual bluffing. But we have to bluff a little. Like, we have to fake orgasms once in a while, right? Women, we have to do that. But the only reason we do that is like, we love you. That's our sweet way of saying, you know, wrap it up, right? <laughs> That's your Oscar playoff and your speech music. We're saying, I love you. I'm glad we did this, but Storage Wars is on in a minute. <laughs> Get out of me. Faking an orgasm, it takes so much energy. It's like, why do we do it? Maybe just hang in there, see if the thing actually happens, you know? Or you could do what I do. Now when I start dating someone, I just set up that I have these really lame orgasms, so they're super easy to fake. When I am dating right now, this is how many things I achieve. Mm. It's a whole, mm. it's over. So easy. Do you know men fake orgasms? Did you guys know that? I'm sure I'm sure everyone fucks you to completion, you beautiful angels, but this petunia has experienced that. A guy faking an orgasm, it's so funny. I was seeing this guy and uh, we were in New Orleans and we were wasted. Because that's what you do there, you know? And uh and we were, we were having sex, and it was disgusting. It was just like two seals batting at each other, just, eh, just drunken hams high-fiving. It was awful. And, uh, and he was obviously done with our shared experience. So he faked an orgasm. And like, men, you're not allowed to fake it. You're not allowed. There's hard evidence if it doesn't happen. I'm like, oh, do you come magic now? Wow. Where is it? You can't, especially if it's your girlfriend. Like, we know what the noises you make. We don't know the faces you make because that's something you look at once by accident. <laughs> it's like looking into the sun. You're like, ow, never again. That is a one-time kind of mistake. But no. Uh, but we do, we know your noises. So this guy, we're having gross sex, and he lets out this fake, weird noise he's never made before, like, I'm like, oh, is your dick haunted all of a sudden? That's amazing. end an orgasm in a question mark. You're just not allowed to do that. This past summer, I dated a wrestler, which was like ludicrous for me, because um, uh, I just, I don't know that world. I didn't know how to talk to him. I'd be like, have a great contest. He's like, what? I'd be like, who are you wrestling tonight? Stillborn? He's like, that's not a name. I'm like, okay. Uh, and we were just like way different in the bedroom, you know? Like, we had different styles. His style was like really energetic and like 
moving around and like my style, like what I like, I like to like lay there. <laughs> so <sighs> I was always like doing a floor routine and I was like, it's the morning, my neck hurts. But uh but it was fun. It was fun to like sleep with a guy who's in good shape. I've never done that. I usually they kind of chubby-ish comics when they take their shirts off you're like how are you not a woman like that kind of a guy but I like that I like feeling like the hot one in bed so I can whisper things you know like you're welcome or um you owe me for this like that kind of a that kind of a thing but I had an encounter with a huge penis just like the biggest thing you can imagine. I really think of them now like as a, like they're like unicorns, you know? Like in theory, you're like, yes, I would love to have an encounter with a unicorn. Oh my God, a unicorn in the forest? Yes. But if a unicorn were ever standing in front of you, you'd be like, fuck that, and you would run. <laughs> you'd run. You'd be like, oh, it's just a horse with a weapon on its head. Which is what a giant penis is. The only difference is unicorns are white. But, what, what? Just kidding. No, so, I think they're unnecessary. They're, it's like a Hummer limo, you know? They look cool, but you can't park them anywhere. What's the point, right? I went home with this guy, and, um, and he went down on me right away, because he was raised well. Uh, I'm thinking, like, get his mom's email. She needs a shout-out. Uh, so he's having what I'm assuming is the time of his life. And uh, yeah, so he's doing that. And then he, he kind of gave up eventually, because he could see I was texting. Um, <laughs> I'm like, it's about you. So then he brings out his penis. He kind of presents it like, here it is. And I think he thought, because I'm a substantial chick, that I was just going to be like, that whole thing? But I was like, mom! It didn't even register as a cock. Like, it just looked like an animal had latched on. Like, wouldn't let go. I was like, oh, you should call someone. Uh... Like, where does that sleep at night? Like, is there a stable? Like, was, does that sleep in hay? So, just, I wasn't excited at all. It was all fear. And I, but then I was like, you should be excited right now. Like, I should have been taking Instagram pics with it. Like, ah. mm -mm. like fun, possible holiday photos, you know? I was like, come on, bitch, you played volleyball in high school. You did that 5K run, mostly walk once. And, and he was getting weirded out because I was saying all this out loud. Um, no, so I'm like, all right, I need to stop pretending like I'm a hero. I'm going to sleep with this guy. Uh, so I was like, do you have a condom? And he was like, no. And I was like, way to call me on my bluff. You know I don't care. <laughs> it really takes the wind out of your sails for a guy to be like, nope. And you're like, all right. <laughs> but then he said something really sweet. He was like, but I don't have AIDS or anything. I was like, oh. <laughs> have you been reading my dream journal? So, so then we, we tried to have sex. We tried and it didn't work at all. It was just like, it wouldn't go in. It was like knocking at the gate and the gate was like, mm-mm-mm. It didn't work. It didn't fit. It was like, it was like, uh, that's, did you say Winnie the Pooh where he eats too much honey and he gets stuck in his door? 
No, you guys like joyless childhoods? Okay. It was like, it, you can relate to this. It was like a truck getting stuck in the Holland Tunnel. Okay, just right at the entrance. And I see you're the faces you're making. You're Look, I'm not trying to make it sound like I have some dainty, just tea drinking pussy, just like a Downton Abbey watching thimble of a vagina. It's normal, it's normal. And in that example, it was the Holland Tunnel. Uh, pretty accurate. Um, yeah, it's uh, cost about $12. Um, a lot of guys from Jersey have been in it. Um, it hurt to say out loud. So I'm like, you know, packing up my wares. Just like, good luck in all your endeavors. Follow me on Twitter. He's like, where are you going? And I was like, I'm leaving, like goodbye forever. You know, this didn't work out. And he's like, oh, let's keep trying. I was like, no. <laughs> well, why? So that I can walk around New York with my new gaping vagina, just like, hey. What? No, I just want a good weekend. Hey. Picking up my new ring off the subway platform, like, oh. Uh, did anyone see where it rolled? Uh, a rat's wearing it like a crown. I'm like, wait. Thank you. Thank you. It is a. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I, I... <laughs> Thank you. No, isn't this like a sad, like substitute art teacher outfit? It is. No, nothing has changed. I was like, oh my god, I have a TV show. I'm about to be so rich. Like I was burning bridges all over Manhattan. The end. <laughs> Same shitty apartment. Nothing has changed. You have to be so rich here for it to matter. I still dress like shit. If anybody's seen me on the subway, you know. I like to wear American apparel. I like, I like the marketing for American apparel, don't you? I like the models. It always looks like a shot of the last time they were ever seen, right? Just... <laughs> they're waiting for Liam Neeson in the bottom of a closet like help like hostage lighting why do they do that I think oh if I buy these leggings will you also find my body in a swamp what's what is the idea with that nothing has changed I um I get uh some fancy stuff I get acupuncture now that's fancy I go to like a nicer waxing place you know, a place where they like, change the paper. I'm like, ooh. You're the Duchess of Deutschland? Like, what is this? 
There's like literally no blood on the paper. I'm like, I'm like, hmm, what's the occasion? Uh, yeah, acupuncture, waxing, just really paying for more and more Asian people to hurt me. That's what happens with money, I guess. And I'm staying at nicer hotels. That's the thing, that's really cool. Because for 10 years, I've been on the road staying at just awful places, just not even a comfort inn, like a comfort Western, just a, like an off-brand place where like the sheets hurt, you know? It's like for four thread count, it's BYO towels, just. Just like shivering in the shower, they're like, you should have called ahead. You're like, uh. I miss those places because at least they kept it real with you. They would be honest, you check in, and it's, if it's after 4 p.m., it's some just like rapist night manager, just with the child molester glasses, just like, and he treats you like shit. He's like, you're paying a dollar ninety nine to stay here. <laughs> I'm gonna treat you like shit. And you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I deserve for staying at this murder hotel. They throw your key at you, they tell you to go suck a dick, and you're like, okay, thank you. These places, try dialing zero at one of these hotels. No one answers, there's no customer service. Like a bed bug answers, like I'll be right up. No one cares. But now these fancy hotels, oh my God, they're so manipulative. The people that work at these fancy places, they treat you the way you wish your parents had, you know? They give you slippers and a robe and they tell you your dad's never gonna leave. Just lies. Just sweet lies. They're like strippers. Like they're just, they're just, they're fucking with you. You, wa you walk in. And they're like, how was your day? And you're like, me? They're like, yes, you silly goose. I love you. Oh my God, like I was just staying at a W, you know that chain, right? The W, so you got, can you believe how pretend, like just to call yourself that, like we're just gonna be a letter, it's just. Should we shorten it? Should we just be the dub? I don't know. I don't want rich people to have to talk too long. Just, mm. So I was staying at a W in Miami. I went to Miami. I went with my sister for a vacation because we're so stupid. And uh, we were like, let's go. It's warm. We'll make out with boys. We got down there and we saw the other women walking by the ocean. We were like, oh, we're not making out with shit. <laughs> the staff at the hotel saw us clock them and they were just like, uh -huh, do you want a drink? I was like, I want a burka, cover me. Get me a poncho. I was like, what are those? They were like, those are women. I was like, what are we? <laughs> They're like, we don't know. We just stayed in the hotel room the whole time watching Pitch Perfect. We never left. We never left the room. Oh, it's so broke. But then, you know, you'll get like a wave of, of confidence. It'll just be like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym. Like, I'm gonna turn it around. I don't care that when I turned 30, my metabolism told me to go fuck myself. I'm just gonna go. Isn't that cool when you turn 30 and your metabolism just goes, bye! And you're like, wait, don't I need you? And it's like, it doesn't matter, bye! And they're like, embrace it. You're like, okay. Cool, I didn't know I could get cellulite in my face. Awesome. <laughs> Keeps creeping lower. I'm like, what an adventure, woo! 
think a woman's rewarding. So I go to the front desk at the dub and of course the girl working there is just like gorgeous, just this fiery Latinga. Just amazing, just like tan Khaleesi, you know, just skinny, just like she she just she looked like this with perfect tits. Just they were so high, she's like resting her chin on them. She's like, mm. she's like, this is why I can't read, like struggling with her own titties. So hot. She was like, can I help you? Mm. Like only Latina chicks can do that, right? Like they're so sexy. It always sounds like they're waking up from like a grumpy nap, you know? Just mm. I'm mad, I don't know why. Mm. So hot, right? Everything they say, it sounds like they're coming. It doesn't matter how mundane. It could be like, I have to go to the laundry mat. And you're like, oh my God, are you coming? Talking about your dirty clothes right now? Can you imagine if I tried to do that as a white chick? Where's the laundry mat? Ew. You white monster, shut up. She was so hot. Because honestly, at this point, let's be real with ourselves. You can't get laid anymore as a girl if you're not mixed race. Good luck. Good luck if you're just white. Ew. People are like, both your parents are white. I'm like, I'm half Jewish. Not good enough. You can't just walk around. You have to be like this amazing ethnic cocktail no one saw coming, you know? Like Malaysian and Spatian or, you know, something, something amazing. So I walk up to the desk and she's like, I'm Jordana. I was like, of course, that's your name. What a hot name, right? My name's Amy Schumer. Just. You sound like everyone's lesbian aunt, you know? And not even the fun one, the one you hope doesn't come to Thanksgiving. She always brings her friend, Terry, right? You have to make small talk like, so Terry, how's bird feeding going? I don't know. She's like, good, they've been eating a lot. Just put it out there, they eat it, I don't know. Like, all right, Terry, that's enough. That's way more than I was bargaining for. Humor. Oh, Jordana. I was like, where's the gym? She was like, do you mean sweat? I was like, sweat? No, where's your gym? But it was the W. So they use all these minimalist names for things. So she's like, well, we got our gym sweat. Cause that's what you do there. I was like, oh, that makes sense. It's like, well, we're shit. Um, it's like, is shit on this floor? Or are we permitted to do that in sweat? Uh, but from Miami, I went straight, I went to Tennessee, and there, I'm Jordana, okay? Yeah. Feel it. People are like, what are those? I was like, teeth, hi. They were like, how'd you do that? I was like, a razor. I thought I was from the future. Somebody called me skinny there. I was like, I'm moving here. <laughs> the people in Tennessee. 
When I say overweight, like, I'm not talking, like... I would never make fun of somebody for being overweight, first of all. I weigh 140 in the morning, and I'm lying. And... But the sea creatures in Tennessee just... Not like overweight. I mean like pants are no longer an option. Kind of a... Just like a long t-shirt with a Disney character on it. Do you know? And not at like a water park. At a restaurant. And I just... There are couples down there where you'll see them and it looks like they've entered a silent contract to eat themselves to death together. And I'm bringing it up, not to be me, but I'm like, talk about it. Like, somebody be like, hey, we can't use those pesky stairs anymore. We need to get a ranch. And then the other one's like, ranch! Um, I'm on a new diet. It's crazy. Um, it's, I'm just doing it to get ready for the press for this season. I'm doing no steak or red wine after midnight. And... <laughs> Just, nah, I'm 0 for 6 at this point, but... No, what I do, what I really do, I, I, I tell people I'm doing low carb. And then I don't do that. <laughs> and still feel entitled to results. Is anyone else on this same plan? <laughs> right? The hero diet, when you just talk about your plans. Like, I'll order my salad dressing on this side, but I'll get nine dressings. <laughs> I'm like, just put, please, skim milk, but put whipped cream on the top till it topples over in my hand. <laughs> it's so hard. It's hard as a chick just to keep your self-esteem in a good place. It really is. It's so up and down. Like, some days I wake up and I feel strong and good, and I'm just like, yes, bitch. I'm like, my pussy's fucking magic. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And then other days I wake up like, I can't believe anyone's ever fucked me. It's like, I feel like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I'm like, Ugh. like shooting ink at people walking around. <laughs> Is it a good sign that I just got winded during that? Is that a good sign? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> oh, God. It's always up and down. I feel like the only time I saw women with my body type was those Dove soap commercials. You know what I'm talking about? The women, you know, they come out and they're in their bra and underwear for, um, for Dove soap. And it was women my size, like size 6, 8, 10... And like 12 around the holiday. And they come out just like deer in headlights, like totally unsure. They're just like, like they were pushed on camera. They're like, uh, this is okay, 